It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. We'll lead you straight to your prize. With trader prices, Mr. Beckford knows are fair. And with a quality he knows is sound. I did hearty molasses and raw cane. That's a given. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Well, your behavior, and at this I often say, I cannot rest contented when you are far away. The roads, they are so muddy, we cannot walk about. So roll me in your arms, love, and blow the candles out. My father and my mother in yonder room do lie, a hugging one. Speak more softly of what we have to do, lest that our noise of talking should make our pleasure rue. The streets they Get are so high, of the people walk about. They may peep in and spy, love, so blow the candles out. And if we prove successful, love, I'll leave it after thee. I'll treat it neat and kiss it sweet and daft it on my knee. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You might not. <laughs> Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. <laughs> Captain. You have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Patrol these waters closely, Captain. Hold, Addy. There's trouble afoot. I see them. Ease the spanker. Hold down. Love, come in. Booty cast to drift, come in. Loose all. Let's move. 
I know she's a good sailor. Now prove it, my trumps! This man's working for Peter Backford's people. Do you know them? The Backfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, huh? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers that crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of cotton. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like bird lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Cast away! Still alive, I think! It's a risk to anchor too close. Soldiers rolling the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. here why such disarray but if I do sir that's all it's Wilmington's birthday and you saw fit to get pickled on duty no bother sir we have everything sorted we'll soon see won't we for you must double the watch this evening double sir whatever for I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one sober here? 
Fetch me the warehouse. If you please. Bastards have a sight! Oh! Oh, no, 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 I need some no, help here! Don't lose sight of him. Help me, damn it! 